Hello again and welcome to the latest update from the Met Office. Some dense fog patches around this morning, but that fog tending to lift by the afternoon in most places, not for everyone. Dry for many and then it turns increasingly wet in the northwest, this weather front moving in. It does move in against an area of high pressure, so it's a weakening feature as that occurs and it's slowing down somewhat. So during daylight hours, I suspect much of this rain will be across Western Scotland and Northern Ireland. Heaviest over Western Hills, you can see the brighter colours there. And for the rest of the country, meanwhile, very little rainfall reaching the east of Scotland and sunny spells breaking out across a large part of England and Wales. But there are areas of cloud floating around and there will be some stubborn fog patches continuing into the afternoon. And where those fog patches stick around, well, they'll suppress the temperatures. We're looking at three or four degrees in some parts of, say, the East Midlands, East Anglia. But otherwise, temperatures typically six, seven, eight Celsius a little bit milder for western coasts. And you can see by this stage the rain's cleared much of Scotland, but it's pushing into Cumbria and North Wales by the end of the afternoon. Hardly anything left on this weather front. But the area of cloud associated with it becomes more and more important because as it moves in, well, there'll be some fog forming ahead of it across central and southern Britain uh, during the evening. But then towards the end of the night, that fog will possibly lift in many areas and then return. So it's a case of fog coming and going, patchy areas of fog across central and southern Britain and a patchy frost as well, most likely towards the southeast of England where that cloud is slowest to move through. Meanwhile, after the earlier rain across Scotland, well, blustery showers push in here for the second half of Wednesday and overnight. The wind strengthen gales for the north coast of Scotland with say 65 mile per hour gusts around the Northern Isles. Of course, that will keep temperatures generally a little bit higher further north, but like I say, a patchy frost to wake up to in the south. And watch out for fog patches, a tricky kind of fog because it will come and go, I suspect, on the roads. Otherwise, the fog does tend to lift a little bit earlier through Thursday morning. A lot of cloud cover across the country. Outbreaks of rain, increasingly so for, say, North Wales, Midlands, Northwards, but the rain turning particularly heavy and persistent for northern and western Scotland. And again, it's over the western hills of Scotland where the rainfall will be heaviest and most prolonged. And it will mount up through Thursday and into the start of Friday, 60 to 80 mils widely, perhaps in some of the wetter spots, more than 100 millimetres. Yellow warning enforced because of risk of localised flooding, risk of transport disruption. And that rain accompanied by a strong wind, coastal gales for the northwest and north of Scotland. And a breezier day on the whole for everyone with temperatures just a notch milder compared to Wednesday. Now these weather fronts do finally clear through as we head into Friday. The rain finally relents of uh, around the northwest, but it turns more showery. Meanwhile, a very different start to Friday compared to Thursday across much of England and Wales. Cloudy, outbreaks of rain, heaviest again over Western Hills, Wales, Dartmoor, for example, and a strong wind. So feeling very different, and it will also be milder, much less cold compared to the mornings so far this week. The wettest and windiest weather sweeps through by the afternoon. Brighter skies follow, but with blustery showers, some sunny spells, and temperatures well, a few degrees higher compared to recent days. We're looking at 12 or 13 Celsius, perhaps even milder in the east. More details, as ever, can be found by following the Met Office on social media and by downloading the Met Office app. Bye-bye.